How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 17 shootout commentary. And this time, I want to talk about the goal scorers. Who's going to take the Maurice Richard this year? I think you guys know why I'm using the Winnipeg Jets. Here we go. Blake Wheeler coming in. Slap shot right into Max Talbot. Uh, I thought there was an opening there. Glove side. Apparently not. So, boys, do you think this could be the year we could actually see a rookie win the Maurice Richard? How crazy would that be? It could be Connor McDavid. Who knows? He's coming down. Oh, goes inside, goes outside. Flying poke check. Get the hell out of here, Connor McJesus. You got nothing for Hellbent. Uh, could be Connor McDavid who wins the uh, Maurice Richard, but if I have to choose one rookie who I think is going to get it done, it's this man, Patrick freaking Line. And what a wrist shot this guy has. In fact, I want to try it, right? Barely moving, clutching, clutching, shoots it. Are you kidding me? EA Sports. EA Voodoo at it again, boys. Patrick Line can't even hit the net, which is ridiculous because this guy be going bar down anytime he freaking wants to. His shot, man, it's absolutely unreal. Now, hang on a sec. Let me just focus on this. I want to make a point there about Patrick Line. Stacking those pads, baby. You know, I've watched hockey for a while. I've heard analysts, I've heard coaches and players talk about what you need in the shot. And one thing I've heard is that, you know, velocity is all well and nice, but if you can put the puck where you want consistently, you can take a little bit of power off of it. Just put it off the post and in. Put it off the crossbar and in. Bah, slap shot off the goaltender, right? The freaky thing about Patrick Laine is that he has pinpoint accuracy, but he can also rifle the shot, and he doesn't have to take a slapper. It's deceptive. He just releases his wrist and boom, off the crossbar and in. Fantastic, man. This guy could really do it. But then again, Sid the Kid is having an unbelievable year as well. He's starting to actually shoot the puck. So we'll talk about that afterwards. Going backwards there, moron. You can't be doing that. Who was that? Leon Dreisaitl? Is that how they play hockey in Germany? It ain't how it's done in the NHL, son. Come on now. Put your head on your shoulders. Drew Stafford. Uh, let's do a, you know, let's do win hole. I haven't done it yet. Win hole, baby. Win hole. Win hole. Oh, baby. And he crashes through the goaltender. He tried to stack the pads. There was a little gap underneath. Not stack the pads. He tried to dive. And speaking of dive, Stafford, you goofball. He put the puck into his, in the net and himself. That should count as two, referee. <laughs> Oh, he might have broken uh, Max Talbot's hip there as well. He looked like he was writhing in pain. All right, Halbuck, let's go. Let's beat this man. He's coming in. Ooh, nice little dangles. Nice little dangles. Flying miss, you freaking moron. It went right underneath your stick. How do you do that? I, I was within range. Jordan Everly dodges it and makes a nice goal. Buries it in the corner. All right, all right, all right. We got to win this. Connor, here we go. Number 81, Phil Kessel taking his number. Uh, let's go a little toe drag here. Yeah, what the fuck? What? You can't even do a toe drag? You're in the NHL, and you can't even do a toe drag without losing the puck, and that counts. Oh, well, here we go, boys. The Winnipeg Jets, they might lose the Edmonton Oilers right here. I wish you could have Patrick Line shoot every time. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Get the hell out of here. He got really close to me right there. I should have done a flying poke check again. He just hit my battle. All right, Dustin by Uh, You know what? Let's just rifle one. Rifle it. Rifle it. Oh, he chose the right side. I should have gone to the glove. I thought it was wide open. Then he moved over there. Had I gone to the opposite side, it would have been in for sure. Milan Luchas, make the save. <laughs> I was going to move quickly. That's a... All right, this guy usually dives quickly. Does he dive again? No, he didn't. Stop. Uh, wide open. Oh my god! Cam Talbot, are you shitting me? What a glove suit. Look at that save! <laughs> I had him down dead to rights, and he just throws up that gold glove to make a save. That's unbelievable. Derek Pouliot, one great save another way. Uh, no! I double clutched! I should have just went to the left. One great save one way, and a goal the other to clutch it. And the Edmonton Oilers end up taking it in the shootout. Oh, I'm sorry, Winnipeg. I thought I had a, what a freaking save Max Talbot had right there. Before we talk about the Maurice Richard and the goal scorers in the NHL, let me just take a look at this one more time. All right, I stopped. I put on the brakes there with Ehlers. He's way out of position. Maybe I should have shot a little bit sooner. It's a good shot. Oh, my God. He reached back and snagged it and flashed that sucker right in Ehlers' face. So, boys, I want to put three questions to you guys, all right? First one, just hypothetical. Could a rookie win the Maurice Richard this year? There's a lot of rookies. I don't think any of the Toronto Maple Leafs rookies have a chance at winning Maurice Richard. Uh, Austin Matthews, it'd be nice, but there's no way. After the first game of the season, it looked like he could, but he's come back down to earth. I think, realistically, the only rookie who could do it would be Patrick Laine. He's got 15 goals in 26 games played. But... 
Uh, uh, Sidney Crosby, like I said, is having an unbelievable year. He's got 16 goals. He's at the top all by himself, but here's the difference. He's only played 18 games. He's played eight less games than Line, but has one more goal. So how is this going to look after 82 games, right? Now, you got Alexander Ovechkin down there as well, and I would never write him off. He's got 12 goals, but he has the capability of getting a hat trick there. Next game, another goal. A game after that, two goals, you know. Go on a 10-game run where he has like 10 goals. He could easily do that and get back on track but the second question can a veteran other than Crosby or Ovechkin take the Maurice Richard this year Vladimir Tarasenko's got 13 goals Mark Shifley not a veteran but man what a what a lineup that is uh line a Shifley and uh Ehlers right holy crap these guys man 240 goal scorers on that team my god uh you got uh Pasternak who's got 13 goals in only 19 games played we'll see if he comes back down to earth uh Kucherov Marian Hossa Ovechkin Grabner all at 12 goals and Grabner holy crap Hey, you know what? The New York Rangers, holy crap, scoring goals like crazy. And how about Jack Eichel? I know he started off the year injured. He's only got uh, two games played under his belt, but he's got three goals. You never know, right? He could have an incredible, like, 60-game season. So, can a rookie win the Maurice Richard? Can a veteran other than Crosby or Ovechkin actually win the Maurice Richard? And then, just lastly, who do you think personally will win it this year, okay? Um, other than, well, not other than, but Crosby, Ovechkin, and Line, I'd say, are at the top of my list. I know you got some numbers in there but we see this every NHL season the 20 game mark the 40 game mark the 60 game mark you see some new names but the, by the time a uh, game 82 comes around usually the guys who you expect to be at the top of the table are up there so who do you think will win the Maurice Richard this year boys let me know if I have to choose I'm just going to make the simple easy pick it's going to be Sidney Crosby it seems like he's decided this year I'm going to take more shots I'm going to put myself on front of the net he's got a team around him that's that's deep if he can stay healthy man and you might see like a 60 goal season out of Sid the Kid. So boys, let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Yeah!